Hello again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. Long been waiting, but here we are yet again. Let's give Reggie something to eat. Do we have anything on food? No, I just put all my food away. You can have some corn. Have a corn there, Reggie. Excellent. Poop me up some corn seeds. One, two. Excellent. Corn seeds it is. Actually, that's a normal seed. This is a corn seed. Oh, good enough. Let's plant them in the garden. There we go. And get ourselves some more things are growing. We just recently got ourselves an ice box so we can keep our food without having it all go bad, which is definitely a good thing. Although we'll have to see how it goes in the long run because I haven't used it yet, so we'll see how much longer it makes our food last. Now, though, we have to go and do a little bit more researching because we're going to try and get ourselves a crock pot this episode because apparently it lets us make better food. And I have a theory that if we cook with spoiled food, it might not actually make a difference. We might be able to get good value food out of spoiled food that way. So that would be an interesting little thing if it's true. We also just accidentally picked up our bird net. I want to chase that bug down. Get over here, butterfly. We need better honey. No, not that. Pick, chase down the butterfly. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, you were the worst catcher. There we go. Okay. <laughs> You're the worst there, Wilson. That's terrible. Let's get over here. Plant ourselves more flowers. And we got lots of honey in here. I wonder how much fuller it'll get if I just leave it. That'll be an interesting thing to experiment with. We should also replant our saplings down here because the previous batch got burned by a red dog. No, not drop them. Plant them. Jeez. Stop doing that. Bad news every time it happens. All right. Plant and plant and plant and plant, 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 plant. What am I saying, plant? These are twigs. No, no, put them back in your inventory. Plant them. And one more. Plant. There we go. That's better than nothing. Lots more inventory space as well. I should put the tall bird egg with our other supplies here. We're going to have to reorganize our chests sooner rather than later. These turned into rot. What do you know? Huh. Apparently rot makes good fertilizer. Huh. Interesting. Fertilize our plants with it. <laughs> and apparently monsters will eat it as well. That's interesting, though. I should, I should, oh, I should have examined it to see what it said, too, but whatever. Not a huge loss. And we'll plant one more seed in this last farm. Okay, we need to get moving, though, if we want to actually get anything done here today. So, let's pick up some poop, because that is definitely progress. And by that, I mean it's entirely not progress, but that's okay. More seeds. Pick up those up, because that's what we do. We pick up everything, regardless of whether or not we need it. And let's go take a look around here. Oh, hello. Angry tentacle over there. Let's avoid him. Angry tentacle over here as well. Let's avoid him. I don't need to fight these guys, so there's no point. Is there anything else good lying around? Because we're looking for free meat for researching with. We're probably going to be researching all of that monster meat we just picked up, given that we really don't need it for anything. At the current time, anyway. There's another stick over there. Oh, 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 queen spider right there. That's what we're talking about. The new boss added to the game after the tree guard, which is originally the boss for the trees. That thing looks pretty scary. It spawns, spawns spiders as well. All kinds of nasty things it can do to you. Oof. Let's avoid that monster. Alright, for the time being anyway. It's pretty darn powerful, so we're going to head over there later on probably and try and fight them. But as it stands, we're going to give them lots of space. Alright, so I couldn't find anything else free. We're just going to have to make do with what we got. We only need a hundred resources, and we have plenty in our chest here with the monster meat. That's in the ice box now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes, indeed. So let's go over here to ice box, take out the monster meat, and get ready to research it all. This stuff is... Oh, stale. That's interesting. I guess that means it's gone out of its normal lifespan. Huh. Stale, hot, in an ice box. Awesome. All right, let's put these monster meats in the researcher. Get ourselves to use the double research technique. Awesome for the twice the research speed. Here we go. Rapidly becoming smarter as we speak. Aha! And crock pot it is. Awesome. We need some more charcoal. We need some stone. Do we have any more charcoal? Oh, we better. I don't want to burn anything else at the moment. I think we've already burned up our burning supplies. Yeah, we have no charcoal. Okay, time to go set up a miniature burning farm, because we're going to need one if we want to actually make this thing. Let's get down here and plant ourselves a burning farm. Oh, don't drop those pine cones. You're the worst at planting things, Wilson. You have a tendency to drop them instead. All right, plant, plant. We'll just plant a little square here. We don't need quite as much as previously. We'll need five by five, let's say, this time. 
and that should give us some lovely tree supplies. We should also spend tonight cutting down the trees outside our house, because they're at a nice height now. They're dying out of old age, in fact. And if we don't cut them down, we won't get the wood, which we do need. So we'll plant all of these while we still have some daylight left, and then we'll get back to camp and make sure we don't get killed by the Gru. So, more trees planted, more trees planted, there's three by three, one more row might do it for now. We actually might run out of uh, saplings first, I don't know if we should have enough for this. So, that's okay. Plant some more. We do need this though, because we don't have charcoal, we can't make our crock pot, and our crock pot is, I believe, our, possibly our way to bypass the hunger problem. At least until it turns into rot. Oh, it's dark now. Get back to base, get back to base, logs on the fire. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, okay. <laughs> let's not die, thank you very much. So, that's that, and that. We'll eat up all our cooked morsels to deal with our hunger problem, and that way they won't go bad. Eat them all, please. I love that eating animation. Turns like a monkey there with the arms hanging down. We'll cook up these seeds as well, so we'll have... No, don't drop them, cook them! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, cook up the seeds so we have more food. There we go. Eat those. That should give us some nice food power. Yes, indeed. Get out our axe and chop down them trees. Yes, indeed. So how's it going, Reggie? It's a nice cage we got you there. How are you enjoying life? It's tasty eating nice whole corns and things. You're a pretty lucky bird, aren't you there? Much luckier than the other birds I had to kill anyway. So, let's keep chopping this stuff down. We want to get lots of research points, though, because we want to invest in some new hats. We want to invest in all kinds of other things. So we have to see if we can't get anything else good to do that with. Let's chop down all these suckers. Oh, I think I just broke my axe. Yes, I did. We need to make ourselves a new one. All right, new axe, and continue chopping. We want to get as much out of this junk as possible. We should also dig up these stumps so we can get the extra logs from that, and then hopefully replant something in here, because otherwise our permanent supply of wood is not so permanent. So let's junk all these trees, even though they're a little bit short. That's OK. We do need to replant everything in here anyway. Chop them all down. Excellent. Keep chopping, keep chopping. Hopefully we'll be able to make some actual progress today, though. We've got our ice bunks up and running. We've got our crock pot on the go. And we have more dogs coming in, apparently. we got to make sure we stay away from our base this time when they arrive, because otherwise we're going to burn up all our stuff again. I didn't quite enjoy that last time. Finish chopping all this down, hopefully, before they arrive. Keep chopping, keep chopping. There we go. Last tree, and down it goes. Perfect. There's more rot over here. I guess seeds that get left out too long turn into rot as well. That's interesting. I don't want to pick up a shovel, dang it. Let's drop the shovel. We need to get ready for battle. We'll equip our log suit. Equip our tentacle spike. Get away from our base. I don't really want to have everything burn. Although this stuff down here I wouldn't mind burning. <laughs> It'd be handy if they wanted to burn our supplies for us. Let's plant our seeds here. No, plant the seeds! Plant, and plant, and plant. There we go. Okay, we have a little micro-burning garden over here. I'm not sure if you can get charcoal from size 1 trees, but we'll find out in a minute. As we murder these dogs. Ouch. Got a hit off on us, but not a problem. We killed him anyway. Here's another dog coming in. We're going to kill him too. Die, you sucker. And you're going down as well. Click, 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 click. You're all dead. Anyone else coming in to fight? Get over here and fight me then. Get him, get him, get him. The log suit's taking a beating, but they, they definitely re-updated the log suit to taking away most of the damage. Because in the old version, the log suit would not have been half that effective. Whereas now, it does quite nice things. Okay, the log suit blocked almost all of that damage. I like this new update again, because the low health, low health, blah, 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 low effectiveness log suit was not particularly enjoyable. Alright, growing more crops, that's good. We'll research this meat, because we're going to need more research done. We might as well use the meat that hurts us anyway. Uh -huh. We'll dig up all these trees. Doing a little bit of maintenance right now, folks. Sorry about that. But it does need to be done eventually, so let's dig up all this junk. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. And then we should be able to keep moving. So our next objective is to actually build ourselves that charcoal, or rather, that crock pot. No, don't pick up the shovel. Just dig. You have a shovel in your hands already. You can pick up a new one when that one wears out. Keep digging. There we go. All right, now that one wore out, so we can swap it to this current one. Lovely. Dig up this. Dig up all these goodies. 
And then we'll be able to actually build ourselves that crock pot. And we can test using the spoiled food, or at least the stale food that's in the uh, ice box. Because now there's actually, a, interestingly enough, there's actually a point to having a crock pot. Because before it was, it was nice, I guess, to have access to those other supplies, those more fancy foods, but it was hardly worth it because a lot of the times the foods made by the crock pot are actually lower, like heal less than the individual foods that make them up. However, I have a feeling now that food can go bad, being able to rejuvenate your food supplies with a click of a uh, cook anyway, a cook of a button, will be a lot more appealing. Also, we should go catch that butterfly while it's here. So, get out that bug net and get that oh, hidden the flower. There it is, two of them. No, don't pick the flower, you idiot. I wanted you to catch him. Okay, so you have to be careful, apparently, when hitting Spacebar, because he's not always the brightest kid in town. Catch that bug. Catch it. It's, ch it's beating you. You're losing a race against a bug. Catch him. Ca catch. Catch that butterfly. No, 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 no. Don't attack the beefalo. Catch the butterfly. Okay, this is a silly thing. It's actually beating us by a long shot here. Much faster than we are. Catch. 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 We'll not catch him. I don't know why. He just does not want to catch this butterfly. This is the weirdest thing. Come on, Wilson. Okay, I give up. Butterfly wins. The butterfly beat us. We ruined one of our flowers for no reason. I'm going to eat it just out of anger. Ugh, that's irritating. Eat those seeds as well. Keep ourselves alive. Put these logs in here. Oh, no. We have a maximum for our logs already. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. That was not at all what I intended to have happen, but at least we have a nice selection of things here anyway. So, we have researched our crock pot. We need some oh, charcoal. That's what we need. Right. That's why I set up this burning station down here. So we should be able to torch those now. We'll set fire to them. No, 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 no. Don't equip. Ignite. There we go. Back up and put that out of our hand. And of course, it lit the grass on fire. Of course it did. All right, burn those trees. In the meantime, we'll come over here and get some food. Actually, we might wait till later to do that. As we burn all this stuff, we should get plenty of charcoal out of it. We'll equip our axe to one-shot all these trees and get ourselves some lovely charcoal. One-shot the trees. This is a little bit excessive. We only needed three charcoal, but it is nice to have some backup stores because we were fairly low on logs as well, although I'm not entirely convinced yet that this is a better alternative to firewood than just logs because, well... It doesn't do as much as it used to, but we're going to burn down some extras anyway and get some to spare, because you don't know. It might come in useful. You never know. Okay, get all these goodies here chopped up right and proper. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark before we can get finished chopping all these things down. On autopilot, he does a pretty good job of chopping them down, picking up all the goodies. We'll see how he actually does by the time we get to the end, though. There we go. Grabs the seeds as well. Of course he does. Yes, indeed. We've got just about everything here chopped down. He's probably going to leave this one unchopped, but that's okay. We can always go back and do that one manually. Not a problem. There we go. Plenty of resources in our pocket. Let's go light our fire. Oh, how did I leave that one behind? Light our fire today with some charcoal. It should be nice. Add some fuel here. Boom. 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 There we go. That'll do. Three charcoals will do indeed. Let us go into our food resources. We need three stone blocks, so we'll refine up those. One, two, and three. Lovely, and crock pot it is. Let's put our crock pot near here by our fireplace. Seems like a good place to do it for me. What do we put in there? How does this work? Just put food in there and watch it cook? So let's try something. Let's get, say, hmm, what would make interesting food? I don't know why I'm looking in these cases, because I know there's no food in there anymore. Let's put our silk in here, though. I think that's the chest that has the silk in it. No, that's the chest that has the silk in it. Silk in the silk chest, please. Okay, is there anything else I need to put away? Looks like we're doing more or less okay here. We've got a whole empty space in there, which I should probably get around to filling. But for the time being, I'm not too worried about it. Let's get some food and put it in the crock pot and see how long it takes. Let's put some of this stuff in here. Let's take a, one of my eggplants. It's even less eggy. How did it turn into a pie? It's not a pie, it's a pumpkin. Grilled to perfection, and it's not, it smells even worse. High in fructose and charboiled to perfection. Awesome. All right, let's take our extra, our stale extra smelly durian. We'll stick that in there. We'll get ourselves. How about a pumpkin? I only want one. I only want one. 
There we go. How about a uh, dragon fruit? What other fruit are there? Berries, I guess? I don't have any berries left, though, it doesn't look like. They all went rot. They all rotted right away. And I don't even have my berry plants anymore, so I can't put them in either. Um, well, how about we'll take that and we'll put in also a meat. That could be fun. We'll put in one of our cooked meats. There we go. So we'll put that in there. I have no idea what this is going to make. Probably going to make a whole lot of nothing. But if it makes anything interesting, then it was worthwhile. So we'll put all these goodies in here and see what happens to them. Cook. There we go. I wonder how long it's going to cook for. Oh, we could harvest our bee box as well, get some honey. I bet, if you, I bet you if we put honey and meat together, that would make something good. Well, let's harvest up our crops here while waiting for day to come. There we go. And we can replant with these seeds in our inventory. Plant. 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 I should probably make a second uh, ice box so that I can put non-cooked foods in there. Because if I did that... I was supposed to give that to Reggie, wasn't I? Oh, meatballs from looks of things. That's kind of cool. I guess it was all about the meat we put in. Let's cook up the seeds even. Cook up the carrots even. Cook up the corn even. Everything gets cooked. No survivors. Alright. Go back over to our icebox and put these things in there. Put the popcorn. Put the pumpkin. Put, oh, does that actually make it higher? Huh. That's weird. Stacking them up with other foods means that the food that you put in contributes huh, to the overall health of the other food. Very weird. What is in here? What's in the crock pot? We got meatballs! I cooked it myself, he says. Aren't you proud? Interesting. So it does look like we can do that. There's more rot lying on the ground over here. We'll grab these seeds. Thank you. Alright, Reggie, have yourself some seeds there, chum. Gotta feed up my bird, otherwise he'll die. So we have our ice box, we have our crock pot of cooking. That's pretty cool. What else can we do today? We, I guess the next job is to go and get ourselves some new hats, because hey, you can never have enough hats. We need some more research points, though, if we're going to get those hats. So let's do just that. We want to get our feather hat, we want to get our snow hat. We have enough resources to make all of them, we just need the 100, experience, 100 research points to actually unlock them. So do we have anything we can cook up in the research machine to give ourselves those lovely research points? We could do the tall bird eggs. I think those are worth a whole lot. I'm sure the spider eggs would be worth a lot too, but they're harder to get a hold of now, especially now that the spider nests turn into spider queens. Not ideal for us. We could cook up some spider wool. Uh, some spider wool. That would be scary. Some beefalo wool. I don't think we have any monster meat left either. Hmm. We have those tentacle spikes we could use, because they're not going to do much good to us at the moment. We have so many spares. Hmm. I'm not sure. What else could we use? We could dig up some more of this grass as well to bring back to base, but we have so much of it in the savanna area that it's really not necessary. I don't think we're going to bother doing that. Is there any other kind of resources we could grab from near here that would make our life easier? Do I see any more heaps of dead things? No, but there's a spider queen still chilling out over there. And there's a beefalo still chilling out over here. Hey, dude, you're kind of in a bad place there. Hmm some fireflies there. Possibly we can get them at night. I would like to try and make pumpkin lanterns, because I haven't seen what those do yet either. Now we do have the fireflies right here. Only problem is you have to go out at night to get them. Grab ourselves some more saplings while we're here, because we do need sticks. We're down to only like five left. So we'll grab these while we're over in the wood. And let's see what else we can do, I guess. I should try eating these meatballs and see what they do. Probably the th problem is, though, a lot of these foods have incredible heal values, which we won't get any benefits from if we're not injured when we eat them. But, uh, that's okay, I guess. I doubt meatballs is one of the ones that super heals you. Let's catch that butterfly, though. Stinker. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Got him. Okay. Okay. So, that is the plan from the looks of things. Eat the meatballs. <laughs> Cook something. Very, very vague plan, if I've ever seen one myself. Oh, yeah, we also need to replant our forest. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Plant a butterfly. Mm, there. Boop, more flowers. Okay. We will plant ourselves our new trees with our lovely pine cones right about here. This looks like a good spot. Don't drop them. You are the worst at this. The worst at this, Vanguard. You drop everything. Just plant the trees. Just plant the trees. There we go. Sleeping bees block the trees. It's unfortunate. And, oh, more honey. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that. The honey did grow quite a bit there. And I can't plant in that space anymore. Oh, there we go. And we'll plant one over here. Plant lots of trees so we can get wood later. Plant the trees. We need the supplies. Wood is not too much of a deal now. We've got plenty in our inventory, but it is always going to run out later on, so we might as well take advantage of what we got and make sure it grows back. Lots of birds in here. I like how this thing is definitely made of metal and looks like it should be plugged into something. It's definitely a fridge. And this food does still go bad, so we should try and cook up something with it. I can try and put fish in there and see what we can get out of that. Hmm. I wonder if I can make shish kebabs if I put a stick in with some food. That would be kind of funny. Let's see. Hmm. That would be an interesting thing to try, though. Let's put some charcoal here on the fire. Eat up our meatballs, see how much they heal us. We're at 58 now. Meatballs put us up to 121. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it went up so high. How big is the hunger bar now? Up to 150? That's huge. Okay. Cool. Let's let's take our fish. We'll put... T how about two fish for now? Two fish and... I'll put three fish in a stick. That should be plenty. That'll give us enough to actually see if we can make shish kebabs. That'd be pretty funny if you could, actually, though. But one, two, three fish and a stick. Cook. There's a cook button. Maybe that'll do something. Let's see. I wonder how long it takes. I guess we'll find out. Okay, in the meantime, let's chase away these birds. And maybe we should harvest the honey from here? I don't know how much it gets full. We could wait a little bit longer and see if it gets to a third stage. If there's a third tier, we'll probably empty it then, because I doubt it'll get any fuller than that. we got lots of wood in our inventory, so we'll throw one of these logs on here to make sure we have the most we can get. And we have two full stacks, which is good enough for me. So, what else can we be doing here at the moment? Well, we could try and fertilize these things, but we should wait until they're actually done. I believe the fertilized plant pot... Uh, the farm plots grow food faster, which would be nice to keep them fertilized, but I'm not entirely sure that's how it works. We do need to get some research going, though, otherwise we're never going to get those hats we want. Never, never. So what are we going to research? we got all kinds of goodies in here, but nothing's worth a whole lot. The beefalo wool is worth, like, five or three, something pretty low. The stingers, is there anything in here we could research we don't want? I've already cooked up all my monster meat. We need more enemies to fight us so I can kill them and get their food. Hmm... We could cook up some of this meat as well, but we're probably going to need some of this food. Although I'm not entirely convinced that's the case. How much do we have for popcorn, though? Let's get some popcorn out of here. There we go. Take some popcorn, put it in the research machine, see what we get. That gives us... Oh, three. Not a whole lot. Put that back in there. How about... We'll take... No, not that. We'll take... Uh, ten, five of these cooked meats. That'll get enough. We only need one, actually, at the moment. A whole lot of these in inventory, though. That means we can get ourselves a new hat. So, what do we research? Which hat do we want? The feather hat or the winter hat? Let's get the feather hat first. Bing! Research. Get the hat parts out into our inventory. And we can make ourselves a stylish new feather hat. Aw, yeah! And equip that sucker. There we go. Got ourselves a really silly-looking feather hat. I like it took all of our... Oh, it didn't take all of anything. We have one feather of each color left and one tentacle spots left. Nice. And put that in there, I guess. Put this in a different box. Good enough for me. Alright, I like it. However, we are going to have to end this episode here for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing Don't Starve. If you liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.